<laughs> so look, y'all, um, the video that I made where I said that Terrence Crawford is lying about feeling like his fight with Israel Madrimov is bigger than his fight with Errol Spence Jr., that video is making a lot of gentlemen upset. One in particular, this guy here, Secretary of State One, he commented under my video and he left the following comment. He quoted me because I said I'm more of an Errol Spence fan, which I am, and I always have been. When I saw Errol Spence fight, I liked I liked Errol Spence more than Terrence Crawford. Um, after the fight, uh, well, I always said uh, Terrence was more skilled than Errol, but I thought Errol would still be able to overwhelm Terrence. But now we see that Terrence is a generational fighter. He's a better fighter than Errol. But I'm still more of a fan of Errol Spence. I like Errol. That's my guy. I'm a, I, 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 I respect Terrence Crawford. I'm a fan of his abilities, think he's dope. But I've always been more of a fan of Errol Spence. And it is what it is, right? But this guy quoted me and he said, I'm more of a fan. He said, I'm more of an Errol Spence fan. How? When you saw the beat down Crawford put on him. You just a fan of men for no reason? Question mark. This is why boxing fans are goofy. First of all, let's address this. I hate when dudes try to talk all this macho shit. You just a fan of men. You just a fan of men. In boxing, bro, people have always been fan of men. That's the reason why, the same reason why people refuse to give Evander Holyfield his credit for whooping Mike Tyson's ass twice. Because they're more of a fan, uh, they're more fans of uh, Mike Tyson than they are of Evander Holyfield. They like the bravado, the makeup, the knockout power that Mike Tyson possessed more than Evander Holyfield. And so they refuse to give Evander credit for those wins. They just say, oh, he fought Mike. He fought Mike too late. Mike was too, you know, he was past his prime. He was in jail. And, you know, he was head button. They make every excuse not to give Evander Holyfield credit, even though Evander was a better heavyweight champion than, than, um, than Mike in that era. Right? Uh, people have always been fans of men all the time, right? So I should I should not be more of a fan of Arrow because I saw him get whooped. If that's my guy, I'm riding with him. See, that's that whole shit. I don't jump ship when my dude get beat. My dude get beat, I admit he got smoked. When Deontay Wilder got smoked in that second fight, props to Tyson Fury. Gave it to him, but I'm still more of a Deontay Wilder, more of a Deontay Wilder fan. And it happens in boxing. When when Roberto Duran got smoked, got left for dead in the ring against uh, Tommy the Hitman Hearns, the Motor City Cobra. When them shots was landing, it was sounding like gunshots across Roberto Duran's head. Do you think Roberto Duran fans said they was more fans of Tommy Hearns after that fight? Hell no. No, they did not. When, um, when Muhammad Ali took his first L against Joe Frazier in 71, do you think Muhammad Ali fans say, I'm more of a fan of Joe Frazier now because Ali lost. No, they did not. When Ali lost to Ken Norton in 73, did you hear people say, oh, I'm more of a Ken Norton fan now than I was of, of Muhammad Ali? No, they stayed Muhammad Ali fans. They, they just admitted that their guy got smoked, and I admitted that my guy Errol Spence got smoked. All that shit. When Leon Spinks beat Mike Tyson after only having seven, I mean, not Mike Tyson, when Leon Spinks beat Muhammad Ali after only having like seven career fights, was people more a fan of Leon Spinks than they were Mike than they were of Muhammad Ali? No, they were not. They were still more Ali fans, even though they saw him get beat in that ring. So what is we talking about, bro? Like, like you see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Were people more fans of um when they saw Ray Leonard lose to Roberto Duran? Were they more, oh, we more fans of Roberto Duran now than we are Ray Leonard? No. That's they guys. All that. Oh, y'all more fans of men in the sport. Like I, like I hate when dudes talk all that tough ass shit. You fan of men. In boxing, people have been fan of men for a long ass time. A long time. A long time. They cut it out, bro. Don't don't cut cut that shit over here. I, I know boxing. I didn't watch boxing. I didn't see sports fans be way more fans of men. When Mikey, when when one Manuel knocked out Manny Pacquiao, I had him looking like he was sleep off that ambient. Off a goddamn, what's they, what they call it, that melatonin. Did Manny Pacquiao fans say, I'm more a fan of one man, well, Marquez now than, than I am of, of Manny Pacquiao? Hell the fuck no, nah, bro. So what is you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, fam? Come on here talking all that with that machismo, man, you fans of men. People have been fans of men in this sport since the very beginning, bro. We not doing that. You feel me? So, yeah, I gave, and I gave uh, Terrence Crawford his credit. He's a better fighter than Errol Spence. He's a generational fighter. He's more skilled. He's faster. He hits harder. All of that. 
Errol Spence still my guy. I ain't jump, jumping ship because he lost. That, that, that whole shit ain't in me. I can still give respect to Chance Crawford and I acknowledge he beat my guy from pillar to post. And I said it all the time I make videos about Terrence. I, I'm picking Terrence Crawford to beat Canelo Alvarez. I'm picking Terrence Crawford to be three-time undisputed champion. I'm picking Terrence Crawford to beat my guy again, Errol Spence, at 54. Right? I ain't making no excuses for that loss for EJ. No, you ain't seen that shit on my channel one time. And that's still my guy. You feel me? So don't act like, oh, you more fans of men. I guarantee you, if Terrence Crawford lose against Canelo Alvarez, which I don't think he will, as long as he boxes, I think he will beat Canelo. I do. But if he loses... Brother, are you going, you going, now you supposed to be more of a fan of Canelo because he beat Terrence? Hell the fuck no. Come on, bro, like, cut it out. Like, all these dudes be coming here talking all that crazy stuff to me. Man, this cute boxing fans are goofy. Bro, you goofy. You a goofy. Because, like, you acting like this something new. Dude, when dude, when, when they, people's favorite athletes get beat, was dudes, when Roy Jones got beat, was people, was people automatically Antonio, Antonio Tarver fans? Was they supposed to be more fans of Tarver when he got beat? Come on, man. Like, 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 for real, man. Well, Shane lost to Vernon for us. Was he supposed to be? Now we supposed to not be Shane fans. Are we supposed to be more fans of Vernon? Come on. For real. Zab with Kasha Zoo. Now I'm more of a fan of Kasha Zoo than I am Zab because I just seen him make Zab wobbly. Have, uh, have Zab doing the stanky leg. I'm, I'm more of a fan of, Zab, than, uh, of, of Kasha Zoo now. They're like, come on, when, when when has that ever been a thing, bro? Don't come on here talking that silly shit, dog. Because, again, I will talk, I will point at your comment and light your ass up. I will do that. I have all the time, the energy left to do it. I don't care. You hear me? So, come over here talking all that. Let's be for real. I'm not supposed to be a fan. You a fan of him for no reason. I'm a fan of Errol Spence because Errol Spence was a fun, he still is a fun fighter to watch. He has a fan-friendly style. He throws a lot of punches. He's not afraid to mix it up. Not saying that Terrence isn't, because Terrence, Terrence ain't either. But I'm going to tell you why I like Errol Spence. Errol was going in, fighting great competition at 47. He was a three, he was a, he was a unified champion, had three belts. Even after the car accident, went right back into the mix. Whooped on Danny Garcia worse than Danny, better, worse than Danny ever got beat on before. Stop your Dennis Ugas. You hear me? Went over there to Kale Brooktown over there and took Kale's strap when people thought Kale was finna whoop everybody at 47. You hear what I'm saying? I, I fooled Errol because of the other outside of the ring. He be on cold with black folks. He stand in solidarity with black folks. He be on cold with his people. You feel me? Spread like he has great knowledge of self as a black man in this world. He in tune with it, giving black media the chance to interview him. Even when they ain't rooting for him, still letting Blue Blood rock out and interview him, interview him and all of that. So I respect, dude. I respect Terrence Crawford, too. He's an amazing champion. Could have the potential to be a top 10 greatest fighter of all time. But knock it off, dog. 